Have you ever looked at the clouds and found familiar shapes in them? That's what drawing ink monsters is. It's a daily exercise to strengthen not only my drawing skills, but most of all my imagination and improvisational skills. And with a little practice, it's not that hard. We are primed to find faces everywhere we look. So most often I find a bit of a face in the ink block, and then it's just to improvise from there. Sort of like a puzzle with no set solution. Deciding what you're going to draw beforehand is more challenging. For instance, if I decide to find a self-portrait in the ink block, that would be borderline stupid. But I'm not the smartest apple to ever fall off a tree, so I thrive in pushing myself to do stupid, difficult stuff. And this was stupid difficult. And as you see, it required a bit more tweaking than the monster. But it was worthwhile. Most of the inkblot monsters I do are truly random, but when I draw mythology, it's usually planned. If you know what to look for, you can spot the difference. 